Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today, we will be talking about two plugins, Avatab and Better Pushback, how to install them, and how to use them in the simulator. I have provided links to both plugins in the description for your reference and convenience. Without further ado, let's begin. Let's start by downloading the plugins. First, click on the first link in the description. This will open up the Avatab download section on the explain.org website. Click on this button here to download. Do note that registration and signing in may be required. Now, let's proceed with downloading the Better Pushback plugin. Click on the second link below. This will redirect you to the GitHub repository where you can download the plugin. Choose the zip file format here and click on it. This should start the download process. Wait for both plugins to finish downloading and then open the folder where they were saved. In my case, that would be the download section. To install them into the simulator, first open each compressed zip file by double clicking on it. Copy the plugin folder inside, then open your explain directory, go to resources, plugins and paste the copied folder here. Repeat the same process for other plugin. We have now successfully installed both Avitab and Better Pushback in the simulator. We are now loaded in the A330. To start using the plugins, go to the top menu, click plugins and you'll see a list of all installed plugins. Click Avitab and select Toggle Tablet. Here, you'll see a variety of functions. Let's briefly go through them. For the charts, this is where you can store and view your charts. Airports, this is the one I use the most. First, input in the IQO code of the airport you want to view. And here, you'll be able to find the radio frequencies, runway ILS frequencies and headings, and also the latest weather for that airport. The Routes page. This allows you to enter your departure and arrival airports. It will generate a basic flight plan that you can use for your flight. Honestly, this is also my first time seeing this feature and I'm actually impressed. The Maps page. This shows your current location within the simulator. It might take a little time to load and personally, I find it quicker to check the map by pressing M on the keyboard. Aircraft page. This is where you can access your aircraft manuals. I think so. I rarely visit this page, so I'm not too sure about it. The providers page. Here, you can log in to your Navigraph account to access all airports charts, or you can also sign in to Chartfox by clicking here. Lastly, there's the about page in case you are curious about the plugin itself. And as you can see, Avatab is accessible wherever you are, whether inside a cockpit or outside. And in some aircraft like the Zebo Mod 737, Avatab is integrated directly into the EFB right here, with the same functionality. So you don't need to access it through the plugins tab anymore. That's it for Avatab. Now let's move on to Better Pushback. There are two ways to access Better Pushback. You can either open it from the plugins tab or use these icons here on the side. If you'd like to adjust some preferences, you can go here and play around with the settings. Now, let's check out the actual plugin. To start, plan your pushback by clicking on this icon. Move the aircraft icon to the position you want the aircraft to be pushed back to. On top of pushback, you can also use this to tow your aircraft forwards. Then, press enter when you're done. Alright Captain, got the directions. Let me know through the menu when you're ready. Next, call the pushback truck by pressing here. Great news Captain, your toe's coming. The truck will approach and connect to your nose gear automatically. I'm speeding up this process but as you can see, the truck is very well animated. Feel free to check it out by yourself and you'll notice how the truck carefully aligns, backs up and lifts the nose wheel, which I think is pretty cool. Once the truck has successfully lifted the nose gear, the driver will inform you when they're ready for pushback. Welcome aboard, Captain. Toes connected, bypass pens inserted. Go and kill the parking brake when you're ready to go. Release the parking brakes, and the pushback will begin. 
Here comes the pushback. Light him up. The driver will also notify you when pushback is completed and will ask you to engage the parking brakes to finish the procedure. Just about done here. Go ahead and set your parking brake. And we're disconnecting the tow. Give me just a moment. Two prompts will appear afterward. You can choose to reconnect if you'd like to continue pushing or towing, or you can click N to complete the entire process. And we're disconnected. Signal and pin on the right, take it easy and have a safe flight. The driver will then move away from the aircraft and stop right next to you to show that the landing gear pin has been removed and is being held up, signaling that we are good to go for our flight. And that's all for a better pushback. That covers everything about these two plugins. I really hope you would find this tutorial helpful and that these plugins would enhance your simulator experience. For any inquiries, feel free to reach out via the comment section and I'll be happy to assist. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.